This morning we are in Bristol and we have a few hours to spend to see the street scene of this city. Start from here, from Stockcroft, which is a neighbor which is similar to Shoreditch in, in London actually. All the streets here are like, like a canvas. So follow us and uh, we will see what we find. This one is one of the main murals that I was looking when I was coming here. It is the Breakdancing Jesus by Cosmo Saxon, a local artist. So today in Bristol, I'm supported by a new camera crew. Is uh, Mark? Oh, <laughs> and that. <laughs> Bristol is famous because it's the hometown of Banksy. Here is where he started as a graffiti writer before uh, making his way up to world fame. Behind us there is an amazing mural by Flag. He's a British artist. And with Mum we are trying to interpret what he meant with this mural. And one idea that we come up with is uh, there is like an old man who is supporting a young man who is trying to, to see the world through this binocular. And all of them are trying to elevate themselves. At least this is like the interpretation that we came up with in the last couple of weeks. Here we are in Nelson Street in uh, Bristol downtown. Uh, in this street you can find amazing giant murals by international artists. They were painted back in the days, already 2011 or 2012 for a fifth street art festival. And uh, behind me you can find uh, an amazing giant mural by Spanish artist Aris and, and another one by Stick. By walking in Bristol, we found uh, another one, masterpiece by Banksy, is the famous Hanging Man. Banksy murals are now like historical landmarks, alongside the cathedral and other Bristol monuments. Okay, there is clearly something about religion, here because there are too many Jesus painted in Bristol. Here is another masterpiece by Banksy actually. We now move to South uh, Bristol in an area close to the stadium. Exactly a week ago a big festival took place here called Upfest. It's probably the biggest street art festival in the world and the entire street has been painted by new murals which we are going to discover. Environment and climate change seems to be a favorite subject for many street artists that came to the Upfest festival last week. This mural here has been painted by a rocket. It represents a, a, a woman, a lady in a post-apocalyptic world where human beings connect back with nature, similar to the Avatar concept. One of the most impressive murals represents John Lennon. It's extremely colorful and a light expression. It has been painted by the Brazilian artist Eduardo Cobra. We made a very interesting discovery. We find a mural by Dr. Love, the Georgian artist. 
We discovered him a few months ago when we visited Tbilisi. The central piece of this murado is this man. He's the only one that is not looking at the movie, but is looking at us. Having led the way with popular subcultures for the last 30 years, Bristol has a history for graffiti and urban art that is unlike anywhere else in the UK. The Upfest is probably the most important street art festival in the world nowadays. I personally think that street art, a multicultural background and a vibrant nightlife scene will allow Bristol to attract young talents, artists and creative people in the foreseeable future.